my god, people who don't have a Tesla park in these yeah. spots. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> Why? I just am literally watching this guy and wearing a pink backpack. Yeah. So weirdo, he's bald. <laughs> See him over here. I've okay. seen that. I'm gonna get you. If you own a Tesla by now, you've probably received some level of envy or disrespect. I get it, people don't like change, and that goes with the turf. But sometimes people take it a little too far. Like at the brand new Northridge California Supercharger. Look, check out this hybrid Cadillac Escalate SUV charging at the Supercharger. Yes, another EV is finally charging at a Tesla Supercharger. Wait, it's not charging here, it's parked. Maybe they were charging and they stopped charging and they're going pee pee. Must be a fluke. Hold up a Nissan Sentra, again, using the superchargers. Not using the superchargers, just blocking a Tesla owner from charging. Must be a total mistake despite the clear signage in English. English, do you speak it? Wait a darn second, that Nissan. But it's not a Nissan Leaf using the superchargers. Do Nissan Leafs look like this now? Is this the new Nissan Leaf model? I wasn't gonna confront these guys or vandalize their cars or prank them in some way because, you know, they might think I'm a Tesla douchey on the left hand side. So I do my thing for my video and start interviewing people like Brianna. And lo and behold, another ICE Honda straight up parks in a Tesla charging spot. This time, the dude, the employee, had a little pink backpack. And if you're gonna wear pink, you gotta be rocking the pink. This is rocking the pink. This is not rocking the pink. Parking in charging stalls reserved for EVs is also not rocking it. EV drivers need those spots to charge to get back home and to get to work and do other important stuff. I feel bad for Northridge chargers. This is already a really packed parking lot without the superchargers even being there. Maybe it's a cultural shift thing and these people, icers, whatever you want to call them, have to get used to it and be a little more mindful and a little bit more respectful and pay attention. I mean, I got to admit, I did something like this out of spite with my Corvette when a Chase Bank in Claremont, California decided to give premier parking to clean air vehicles, lols. I stand by my little statement to the banking clans, but I wasn't preventing someone from charging their vehicle. Can't we all just get along? What should we do? In this case, contact the Parking Enforcement Division of LA Department of Transportation, or you can ask the property manager of the Northridge Grove Shopping Center to post stricter signage and tell the business employees not to park there, lest they be towed away. Thank you.